Okay, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Here is uh, one polarity. There's the other polarity, right? The uh, coil in the center, I believe, was a uh, one and a half, one and a half amp, uh, twelve volt. Um, secondary winding from a small little transformer. We've got uh, this is my signal generator. We'll start down at <coughs> 20 hertz when we fire this off. Actually, we do uh, 15. Top scope is uh, tapped into uh, the AC side of this bridge. I've got a bridge for uh, for each coil. Each coil is 200 turns tri -filer. Power supply that I'm running this amplifier off. As you can see, it's plugged in here, and it gives me a quick reference for uh, for watts, current, and volts. So I'm driving it at 10.4 volts. 10.4 volts. This is what it's sitting at on idle right now. Um, <clears throat> this is where it's sitting at right now. This cap. There's obviously there's nothing connected to it for a load right now. I'll do. I will show you a load in a minute. Um, so that's where we're at. Well, if we got light glare or not, you can see. So, right here, doesn't really stick. Doesn't stick at all. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like barely. Slight attraction, not much. That's probably because of the loss on the middle from one end to the other with the polarity stronger on the ends minimal in the middle but I'm going to put this bar across it just like get that down there slide that over no more attraction there's hardly anything there sticking and I mean like there's hardly nothing now not to just take my word for it it looks like uh, you can see it uh, pulls off, right? Nobody can deny that. Um, so here is uh, the negative on that and this one. And here is the positive on that bridge and on the side. AC windings are coming in here, right? There's the AC winding there. Another one there. This is a scope probe. So we're just tapping off and looking at one up here in a minute. And uh, this scope here is sampling the tickle coil, the drive coil. I like to call it the tickle coil because we're just tickling this flux back and forth. So everything's confined in here now until this is on and I've played around with different duty cycles and 50% seems to be the magic spot uh, I've tried a lot less go all the way down to, to one um, and it doesn't seem to uh, do much but right around 50% I've messed around with 48 48 sometimes depending on what I have for a load seems to be a little better but for now I'm just gonna run it at 50 so, 200 turns each side, tri -filer. I'm going to eventually, I've got two of these cores, and I'm going to run a winding all the way around and back, get as much wire as I can on there, and then I'm going to take another core, and I'm going to just run the wire down here, and then down here, and nothing on the bottom. The same way you see this. And when I've run this 
Um, this right down the center of this U core is one polarity and then the other polarity as it switches. It flies through but then swings back, so um, it's interesting. Um, so again, this is a reminder. This uh, I'm going to turn it on right there. Oops. Alright, so I think we're doing 17 hertz right now. But now you can pick the core up. So the magnetic circuit is being switched by this coil and uh, we, we're getting this back and forth through the U-core. Um, I'm going to speed this up. It's very responsive and uh, I'm going to run it right at 60. This is our ramp draw. 10.4 volts at 1.3 amps and again roughly 13 and a half watts going in. Here's our output winding on one side and the other thing I want to mention I've got an AC cap right here and I'm going to disconnect it See, there's not much of a difference, but there is a little difference. Um, on the voltage buildup. So right now we're uh, still uh, put this coil on here, just to put a little load on it. Microfarad value with this capacitor is 13,000 at um, what do we got? 50 volts. Now when we're building up to what 53, 54 volts, 44, excuse me, 44 volts. Um, a nice little arc out of this. so you can see yeah 650 milliamps um, cap fills pretty fast for 13,000 microfarads the uh, flux switching is going through this ferrite core and I don't know how much more efficient this is going to be. I'm starting to think that maybe uh, this might be the way to go. Since this stuff wants to be uh, switched to the lot faster. Uh, but it seems to absorb the uh, flux pretty well. Pretty impressive. <laughs> 